We hereby interrupt your regularly scheduled program for some freaking squeeing, some shit, and some more squeeing. Yo, folks, we're getting that classic Sonic game you guys all wanted. Wait a minute, did I just see Frank? Wait the fuck! Wait the fuck! Yeah, I see Fang! God! This is fucking amazing! But that ain't the best part, folks. That ain't the best part. You can play as Sonic, Miracles, and Amy. And it's four player. It's fucking four player. Do you feel that? I can play Sonic with the homies. Which I mean that really unironically. I can play Sonic with the homies. That's all I ever wanted. That's all I ever wanted, man. That's all I ever Oh, Jesus, this is beautiful. What is Sonic Superstars? Fuck yes! Guys? Guys, I know, I know. Some of y'all like, but Bugsy, this is nostalgia bait. Dude, 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 listen, listen, listen. I'm not sold on it completely, but this is a good start, okay? And I don't care if anybody wants to complain or bitch or moan or groan or cry or sigh. Like, okay, we can't judge it on a trailer alone. Let me just tell you that. That's how I run things around here. Okay? Like, y'all can judge it on a trailer alone, but I ain't gonna judge it until I got it in my hands. Till I hold it. Till I play it. Till I feel it. Y'all can judge it the way you want, but me, I ain't gonna moan and groan about it. And I'm not gonna moan and groan about it just because I saw a fucking announced trailer. I, I've seen some people that do this. Like, every time there's a new Sonic game coming out, they're like, well, it's, it's like a a bunch of shit before we even know what the fuck we're going what we're dealing with here but for what i've seen i'm just like yes this looks nice we finally get a classic sonic game so now we got like so now after mania we do have another son we do have another classic sonic game in that in this new sonic mania like this new sonic mania post timeline which i think is cool and fang is here now Holy shit! My mind is blown! What in the fuck? Like, my brain, folks, is going to explode. My brain. <laughs> you guys have no fucking idea how I feel right now. It's like, my brain is like... My brain is like, oh my god, just everywhere, just freaking brain fluid everywhere, dudes. I just can't control myself. I need to, do, we need to break it down. I know, I like, I know, right now I was supposed to like do my Street Fighter shit, and I love, and I was gonna do it, but I need, we need to talk about this, and we also need to talk about what, cat, we need to talk about Cat Man. Because, honestly, I'm just, Y'all, y'all tripping because Cat Bat's not binary. We need to talk about that before I get into the good, before I get into the fun stuff today. Because I'm not just doing Street Fighter today. No, no, no. We're gonna be doing some other stuff too. So 
Tyson's like, fuck it. Fuck this, man. We're going we to see what's up. Juicy Jam time, motherfucker. I'm just happy that literally four player Sonic. Four player Sonic. Four player Sonic. <laughs> you get, like, I know some people are like, well, Bugsy, that's not really that great. I'm like, just the wonderment phase of this series just blew right past you, doesn't it? I'm gonna suck. You can't, you can't have any kind of joy. I'm like, I'm really excited for what I'm seeing. It's like, this feels new enough. Like, I don't, this doesn't seem like a rehash. It actually kind of reminds me of Sonic, um, Sonic Remix, Sonic Remix. Not Mega Mix. There was this one fan, there was this one fan game called Sonic Remix. And it kind of looks like, it kind of reminds me of that. And you know, the ending of Sonic Origins kind of set this up. Like, we all say that Sonic Origins was kind of pointless in a way, but it was setting this up. Because at the end of, like, Sonic... Because at the end of Sonic Origins, it had them all together. Oh my god. What what madness is these new special stages? God damn. Just I can't oh I can't. Feeling it. Oh my god. Like And I know it if you Fang Good that he's coming back because we need more fucking Sonic villains or or just some more side antagonists. Hell, like, I don't know, because Azuka said like only like Mighty and Ray only exists in the classic timeline, and so does Fang, so I'm like, why can't Fang exist in the fucking, why can't Fang exist in the modern timeline, why, why are you being so choosy about who comes to the modern timeline, and who stays in the classic timeline, that's just, I, we need to talk about that at some point, but we gotta, we gotta switch gears, ladies and gentlemen, To Mr. Writer's IDX. Lee, who else is going to join the Rumble? Kotaku sat down with Choice Bot Creative Director Dan Neal and Cold Studio Head Paul Yan to talk about Cat Bat's conception, their place in the Crash Minicoon world, and how they fit into Crash Team Rumble roster. The team describes Cat Bat as an amalgamation of a few ideas. But in terms of the initial design, the concept of a David Bowie style rocker acted as a base for everything that followed from lore to gameplay. I love it already. Give Cat Bat their flowers. Let's go. On the art side, we had an interest in this concept aesthetically of a David Bowie like character, Yan tells Kotaku. A rock star that breaks certain expectations has a. Give me a Labyrinth style costume for this character and we good. Yeah, don't. Yeah, y'all know this, but I actually like Labyrinth. I mean, not a lot of people know this because everybody just expects me to talk about Sonic every day when I have other things. And so it's really, I know I talk, I know I harp about this a lot, but it's like, dude, whenever I talk about something actually important, watch, I bet you half of the people are going to click off of this the moment I start talking about Cat Bat because, you know, no one wants to hear me unless I'm talking about Sonic. That's just kind of how it is. That's kind of how I accepted it. 
confidence in Flair that's just magnetic. I would say that character creation at Toys with Bob is a very organic process, he says. It isn't a standardized thing in which it all flows through one process. Sometimes the character is born out of a piece of art that we are inspired by. It just trickles a whole bunch of conversations with designers and modelers and animators and artists and you know, the whole gamut of game developers and those conversations lead into prototypes and then we eventually find a character. Jan says Toys with Bob wanted to capture confidence in Flair Cat Bat, but the origin is not that glamorous. He likens Cat Bat's beginnings to that of Crash himself with an angstier twist. The original Crash Bandicoot game opens with Cortex experimenting on a gene wearing platform jumping hero, and Catbat is another victim of the villain's unethical methods. I think that one thing that was interesting for us to tell was how different that relationship is in terms of how Crash Bandicoot sees Neo Cortex, Jan says. Catbat almost has a resentment for their origin, and through this buildup of a confrontation, figures out that they are their own person, they are born out of kindness from a stranger. Their origin is explored in a digital comic that leads into the events of Crash Team Rumble. Catbat escapes Cortex's lab and is saved by a kind stranger before finding community within rock music. But that doesn't mean they've completely healed from what Cortex put them through, and that trauma acts as a driving force for them in the expanded Crash Bandicoot universe. There'll be a link to the comic in the description box below we, if you want to check it out. But We are going to take a look at that in a minute. But, um, I, you know, like, I've just been hearing people are tripping about Catbat being non-binary, and I'm like, folks... Who the fuck cares? God damn! Like, Jesus, folks. Let's enjoy the fucking game, for fuck's sake. Let's enjoy the character. If y'all wanna be- if y'all wanna be bitches about this, fine. Get the fuck off- get the fuck off my freaking- get off- get the fuck off my freaking subs- unsubscribe to me, right? The fuck? Fuck now, Jesus! If it's that much of a problem to you that a character is not by me, we got like we're gonna have a shit ton of characters through this game, through this lifetime, this game. If everything goes as planned, we gonna fucking have Spyro. We're gonna have all these other characters that are probably in, you know, like night, you know, Nitro Field. So it's like who fucking gives two percentiles of a fuck? Who gives two percentiles of fuck people? Because let me tell you, I don't. <laughs> I'm saying Cat Bat sounds like a cool thing, and you know, David Bowie shit kind of, um, you know. Anything that has a David Bowie twist to it, I'm kind of in. It's different, it's new, unique. But oh well. And I don't want to hear no fuck. I don't want to hear no anti woke bitches saying that. Uh, oh, you you support this because blah blah. Motherfucker, I'm a. Let me just explain something to you. Let me explain something to all of you. All right. I don't care what the care what 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 thing the character identifies themselves as because as long because as long as they're a good character and not annoying or stupid or lame, I don't give a fuck. But if they're cool. Yeah, I'm gonna be looking at them and seeing how cool they are. And if y'all think that it's gonna stop the Rule 34 artists from doing their things, you're fucking dead wrong. Like, can we, can y'all just, can, can y'all for once calm the fuck down for once in your lives? God damn. Because if anybody's still, because if anybody's tripping about Catbat, you have some other problems going on, man. If you're tripping about one character in one game that you're probably not even going to play. Like, I'm just sitting here telling you, it's not that fucking important. Like, dude, if you're not going to get the game because of Cat Bat, sucks to be you. I'm playing the shit. Everybody else is going to be playing the shit while y'all be just sitting there hating on and making hate videos about one character. Because, yeah, I know some of you will do it. Because some of you are that pathetic. Ain't gonna play a game because one character is not binary. Watch, watch. I'm about to see like the few videos coming out since this, cr this Crash Team Rumble comes out because I'm getting it day up. I'm getting it day. <coughs> I'm getting it day of release, and I'm gonna have some fun. I'm probably gonna use, I'm probably gonna use Crash a little bit more, but I really want to play as Dingle now. For reasons you don't want to know. You don't want to know.
needless to say, this is just such an amazing, amazing idea for these characters. Like, I hope you don't just see this for new characters. I'd love to see these for, like, older characters as well, you know, tell a little bit more story behind them. I mean, what really happened with Dingo's Diner, for instance? Like, is there any more story to that that we would love to hear? What more could we learn about the alternate Tana's past? Like, how did Crash and Coco pass in her universe? I don't know if the comic would go into that much detail, but I, I want to know! Potential ideas as to how to... I want to know. Like, honestly, did Cortex kill them? Did Entrovi kill them? I wanna know! Or did Pinstripe gun them down? Because maybe in this timeline, Tana did. Because maybe, because maybe our Tana in the main Crash Bandicoot timeline may have went to Pinstripe, but maybe, but maybe our Tana, right? The new Tana went with fucking uh, Crash, stayed with Crash, and Pinstripe was like, no, doll, you're coming with me. <laughs> like, who knows? Who knows? But, um, yeah, I am, I'm, I just feel like, folks, if we're really pissing, are you, if you guys are really pissed off about Cat Bat, y'all need to reevaluate your lives and, and what you value in entertainment, because really, if you're just mad at one character out of, like, Probably going to be a cast of, like, 80 characters throughout the life of this game. Something's wrong with you as a person. If you just focus it on one character. If one character makes you feel that bad. <clears throat> just don't be Larry, folks. That's all I'm saying. That's the one thing you never want to be. Larry. But I'm just like, yeah, Cat Bat sounds fucking cool anyway. You know, it's kind of cool because, like, she's another character. I mean, Cat Bat's another character, right? Who is spliced with another animal, like Dingo Dow. So, yeah. God, I wish someone would finish Outcast Bandicoot. Because that was, like, Crunch's backstory. That's, that's on, that a fan made, and it never got finished. But yeah, I'm gonna go but yeah, I'm gonna go now. <sighs> but let me look at more Let's see what else they got. Requires some commitment, as you need to both be sure of where you're landing and be sure you're not putting yourself in more danger by joining enemies on the ground. Initially, there's a lot of hesitancy, Neo says. Could we really make a character be as mobile as Catbat is? But what we found when we started developing the gameplay was that there was many reasons to return to the ground when you play as Catbat. So actually, it worked. So we were able to integrate a character into what is, on the whole, a fairly ground-based roster with a great deal of verticality and mobility. And that played back and forth with the art team as the look and feel of Catbat was developed in parallel the gameplay in that like a jam session. Between the rocker aesthetic and the verticality based mechanics, Jan <laughs> says Cabra is a prime example of different departments collaborating to marry a visual concept in a design one. The process of the team as compared to yes anding each other's ideas until the concept becomes a full-fledged character. Sometimes characters are developed from a hero designer coming up with the mechanics that we want to explore and then they inform art and art kind of goes back and forth. <laughs> so it's really like improv. And that back and forth between people with different disciplines and different background results in unique combinations unique decisions that come about as characters. Now we're heading into a section- I like what I hear. I like what I hear. Like what? But we're going to find, we're going to find like five or six people going like, Crash, Crash Team Rumble is not going to last. Burr, 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 burr. There's always going to be that one contrarian. And I'm just going to sit there and be like, is this what you want to do with your life? Welcome to your life. You just want to shit on a good time. Be that wet blanket that ruins the fun for everyone. You want to act like you're superior, but really, truthfully, you're inferior. You just want to ruin our fucking fun. Sitting in your, sitting, making videos, crying like a little girl. Thinking that this is, thinking that you're freaking right. Everybody having fun. You can have fun, like, you can have fun with us, but you don't want to. 
You just want to be a wet fucking blanket, screwing up everything, screwing up people's good fucking time. You just want to be a fucking wet blanket. <laughs> I'm just doing this preemptively. <laughs> because watch, we're going to see, we're going to see five or six people. Everybody on this, everybody going to be on this shit. I'm going to be streaming it. You, I'm going to be streaming it. People are going to be playing it, streaming it, and loving it. And then everybody's going to be like, oh my God. There's going to be like that one or two, three people that are going to be like, but cat bad. And then the other people are going to be like, but the game is stupid. And I'm going to be like, uh, that's your opinion. But the game is stupid. You're just, you're just riding, you're just riding the hype. And I'm like, no, I actually like the game, bitches. I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry that some... So like someone uh, got with your mom dressed up as an orange marsupial. I, I can't, I can't really, uh, I can't really. My heart doesn't go out to you just because your mom got got touched by someone dressed in an orange marsupial costume. I can't. I'm sorry about that. I, I'm sorry that that happened to you. But I can't. But no one's gonna. But I'm not gonna give you. But I'm not gonna let you hit on this game just because your your mother got your mother got touched by a guy in an orange farm super costume, and you saw it all, <laughs> which warped your little mind into this hatred of Crash Bandicoot, or this game completely because it just reminds you a little bit of it more because there's more people <laughs> dressed in Crash costumes. <laughs> Oh, but I'm out of here. I'm out of here, guys. Uh, I want to just say, I just want to say, you guys. Um, I feel like uh, Sonic Superstars is gonna be pretty cool. I feel that Cat Bat is gonna be a pretty good addition, and we're gonna have so many fucking characters. It's gonna be like Nitro Fuel. It's gonna be like uh, Nitro Fuel pretty soon, and I, I think we're gonna have some fun here. And I say, you know, and I just don't want to know, you know, and I know there's going to be the eventual web blankets that want to fucking talk, talk their shit, but like, I'm just going to, I say let's just see what, I just say let's, you know, everybody got the game in their hands, people have been saying positive shit about it. I say, let's just see what, I say, with Sonic Superstars, I'm going to wait until I have it in my hand. Y'all can judge it if you want. But I know there's going to be that one... I know there's going to be the one guy for both of these games and they're going to be like, well, it, it's stupid, it's lame, and I can't play it because I have no skill. <laughs> because, you know, because, you know, like, you know, because p people that actually game actually gain some sort of skill or try to get good at something. No, I, I don't have that in me to do that. A lot of people say, I swear. Like, dude, back in the day, when I was a little boy, when I was a little chaotic boy, I literally used to play Sega Genesis all night long until I got that level right. And it usually was Sonic stuff. I still do that to this very day. You know, not saying I'm a true gamer or nothing, but like, if you want to get good at a game, you have to practice at it. That's just how it goes. <laughs> and watch, just, just, I just be seeing so many people bitch about these games, but mostly it's just them bitching that they can't play it. Everybody else is good at it, but everybody, but they're like bitching and moaning and crying about it. But I shall see you all later. Oh, wait a minute. We were going to go see the comic together. Hold up, hold up. Where is that? Where is the comic at? Hold up. Hold up. Where, where, the, where the fuck is the comic at? Crash Team Rumble Digital Comic.
trying to find it. <laughs> I'm trying to find it. Is there a link to it? Is there a link? Oh god, it's on a Kotaku. It's on a Kotaku! Alright, we got Cat Bat, uh, Neo talking to Embryo. You know. Basically, when Crash escaped, and, you know, Cat Bat is literally trying to find, like, Cat Bat escapes, find, find this dude that's kind of, find this dude that's kind of like, uh, David Bowie. Like a David Bowie stand in. Okay, Cat Bat's kind of cool. I dig, I dig the art, I dig, I dig their art style, I dig it. Looks nice. Hey, wait, 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 I've ruined the lives of so many. I can't be expected to remember them all. Who are you? The name... The name's Catbat. And you will remember my name. Ah, oh, that's gonna be cool. Ah, <laughs> oh, man. They have little storylines inside freaking uh, Crash Team Rumble, you know? Like, lore going through... Like, if they're doing, like, seasons and shit, we need to, like, have it go through, like, one season. One season, we kind of explain, like, what this is, really, in terms of the universe. You know, why Cortex is doing this, why Crash is doing this, why Dingle Dow is doing this, why Tana is doing this. And, you know, we just start building this up more. But I tell you, I tell you, this is going to be pretty cool. I just think it's funny that, like, um, that line is in, that line was in Twin Sanity, I think. Or in one of the Crash games. Like, I've ruined the lives of so many, I can't be expected to, to remember them all. This is great. This is, guys, this is great. I'm gonna, I'm gonna enjoy, I'm gonna enjoy this. Because they're, if they're really trying to put more effort into world building, you know I'm about that. <sighs> Summer, Game Fest is ha Summer Game Fest is happening. Usually I look, but I don't know, man. I used to, I used to be in E3 mode, but now E3 is not happening, so it frees me up to do more things. But, uh, I don't know. Whenever if they show Power World at some point, I'll talk about it. It's just not gonna be like it used to be where I was just in character and having my characters like <laughs> pretend to go through the short floor. But I'll see you guys later. Peace.